Walid, we have had several meetings uh, over this contract uh, to finalize its signature. And despite my repeated serious concerns uh, over these amendments imposed uh, of this FIDIC uh, general conditions, however, you insist on having opposing views to implement these amendments and to, to be incorporated in the contract. So what do you no, think? Megan, how, I, 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 actually, I, you know, this is this is the seventh time we have this meeting right before, and this is right before the award, Megan. And and uh, uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm going to tell you what I keep telling you in all our meetings. You know, this this is a pre-agreed. Uh, when I say agreed amendments with the employer, so this you you went you submitted a bid in the tender process. The tender process had these conditions of contract. They are what the employer wants. I'm talking. I'm talking to you, of course. You're the contractor. I'm the engineer. I'm explaining to you the the employee's viewpoint, and this was shared with all the tenders, and uh, and absolutely we cannot at this stage entertain amending the the conditions that you know everyone priced, and now that you're now the shortlisted shortlisted tender, so of course we cannot change these conditions now. Well, it, most of these amendments are not fair or reasonable. Yeah. Uh, most of which directly contradicts with the FIDIC golden principles. I even doubt that this is uh, a FIDIC contract in the first place. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's completely shifting the risk allocation between uh, from the engineer and the employer side towards the contractor side. And no, no, no single contractor would accept uh, such terms and conditions. For instance, the right of access to side clause, the amendment uh, wiped out the, the contractor's entitlement to extension of time and additional cost. How this can happen, Yanni? In the first place, the site access is not under the contractor's reasonable control. It's purely under the employer and the engineer. So the contractor cannot in any how uh, control such risk or assess it or even quantify it. So how we how you, how you, how you think we can accept uh, such risk? Whoa, 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 Mike! You you've just dropped a bombshell. Are, are you? Did you just? I heard you say that this is not a fitted contract because uh, that gets me really concerned. You know, I don't think you've read the tender documents very well. It clearly says that this is the FIDIC 2017 general condition. So I I mean, not a FIDIC contract. Uh, you know, I, I, anyway, I'm going to clarify to you. Of course, absolutely, it's a further contract. And as I mentioned to you throughout all the meetings and this meeting again, uh, these are the conditions and the risk allocation that the employer wants. And the employer is free to write whatever risk allocation they want. And uh, and therefore, yes, of course, uh, I understand your point about the access to the site. But uh, you know, before entering into the contract, that uh, should there be a problem with accessing the site, don't please uh, don't even consider raising a claim for extension of time or added costs about it. How this can be construed as a fair and balanced contract? I entirely, I entirely uh, have concern regarding this approach. However, I value our relationship. I value the employer. And I need to, to, to invest in our business relationship. So we need somehow to find a midway or having an expert, for instance, to, uh, to find a solution for this, uh, for such amendments to give us his, his or her expert opinion. To try uh, this contract, what do you think? Well, first of all, on your remark about not being fair, you know, make, uh, I mean, this it, it is what it is. You know, this this is the tender documents, and but anyway, I, I really really like your idea about uh, you know a, a FIDIC expert. Um, I like it very much because, like I said, this is a FIDIC contract. Um, so, uh, who did you have in mind? Uh... Aisha Nador, she's a very uh, been owned FIDIC expert and she has been participating in the contract, FIDIC contract drafting in various committees. And uh, I believe she will be of a great added value and we can 
whatever she she can uh, she can provide uh, with what opinion she will provide we can comply with uh, Megan, this is remarkable. We finally agree on something. I agree with you 100%. Aisha Nadar is the perfect uh, FITC expert. I fully agree. Just name name, uh, name the date and the location. Where do you think we should meet with her and uh, and what the date is? 10th of November, 5 p.m. at Kursika Premises. Cairo time, of course. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, I'll see you there. And looking forward to a fruitful meeting, Megan. Thank you, Alid. And looking forward. All right. Take care. See you then. Take care. Thank you.